Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Wanted to shoot a quick video for you to give you a quick idea of what sequence is and what you can do with it. So you might already know, but probably don't. Let's be honest. What we build is a essentially a financial router. What does that mean? Uh, smart money automation. So instead of having to manually set up automatic transfers from account to account with our tool, you can actually create rules for your money. So what I've done here, I did a quick little thing. We are able to add in any income source that you currently have so that with just a few clicks, we can bring in all the money that you're currently making, whether that's just through a W-2 paycheck, whether that's through side hustles, <clears throat> rental income, you name it. Any and all income sources we're able to essentially port into the world of sequence so that you can start creating automations and in flows for your money. And now everybody's got a different way of managing their money, but now we can actually create rules based around however you want to handle your finances yourself. So let me just walk you through a quick little demo, give you an idea. In this hypothetical situation, our user here is James making $10,000 a month. Again, all of this is hypothetical. And what I did is James in this case said that he wanted to have an emergency savings account that he continued to fund, has a Roth IRA that he wants to keep funding, has some fixed expenses like we all do, mortgage, car payment, insurances, those pieces. So we wanted to account for that. And then has spending money separately. So again, doing a good job of starting to branch out our finances instead of the age old method of just putting all of your cash that you make into a checking account and paying every single bill out of it. You know, we're trying to help people get a better understanding of their finances and manage it better through kind of tranching it into different buckets. So we have a fun money that's spent on whatever you want. And then lastly, a, a brokerage account, non-qualified brokerage account. So let's imagine that James has these different accounts set up. Again, we can create them instantly or we can sync to existing accounts that, that somebody has at any one of, I don't know, 15,000 banks. And this is how easy it is to set up the automation. So we would click the income, we drag it to emergency savings, and now we're starting to create a rule. What do we want to happen? Well, we can either create rules based on any time money comes in from that source, or we can do it by date in case you have certain bills that you wanna pay at, at points in time. I'm just for simplicity gonna use incoming funds. So let's say James gets paid once a month. Every single month, this is gonna happen each time he gets paid. So we're gonna start here. And I'm gonna keep it basic. We can get complex if we wanna add condition statements to this, like if then statements, but I'm gonna make this pretty darn simple just so that we can save some time. So in this case, we want to, or James wants to, has told us that he wants to every single month put $1,000 into his emergency savings. So fixed amount, $1,000 into emergency savings, done. Now I can click save and do that, or just for simplicity's sake, let's actually start to add some additional actions to it. So now we're gonna create a second rule. Now, what do we want to happen next? Well, he has a Roth IRA. And so if, I think it's $7,000 this year, right? So 7,000 over the year, transfer fixed amount of, if he's getting paid monthly, I think if I'm doing math correctly, that's 583 and change into the do, 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 Roth IRA. Now I'm going to click save just so you can see it. So we've instantly created two rules. Every single time James gets paid a thousand dollars is going to the emergency savings and $583 is coming to the Roth IRA so that it caps out at, you know, $7,000 per year. Now we've got fixed expenses and fund money as well. So let's continue to add that. So I'm just going to go back into my rules. I'm going to add another action. In this case, we want every single month, fixed amount of $4,300 because that happens to be how much he's spending into the fixed expenses account because that covers all of our basic necessities and adds a little bit of wiggle room. Now I could get really complex and say top up, make sure that every single month there's at least some. Right now what that's saying is every single month another $4,300 is going to go into that account. But if I wanted to, I could just make sure that every single time I get paid, or I guess in this case, James gets paid, his fixed expenses tops up to $4,300. So no matter what was spent and what was left in that bucket, it's gonna bring it right back up to the top. Uh, let's just go back to transfer fixed amount. And then I'm gonna add another rule because we have fun money. So of the remaining money, let's get a little bit different this time. We've been transferring fixed amounts. So of the remaining money, we want, we're gonna go to fun money 
and we want, let's say 50% of the remaining money to go into fund money. And the final 50%, we want to go into the, what do we call it? Oh, the brokerage account. So let me click save. And now instantly in what was that? Just a couple minutes, we've created a set of rules where whenever James is paid, $1,000 goes to the emergency savings, $583 goes to the Roth IRA, $4,300 goes into the fixed expenses, 50% of the remaining money, well, you can do the math, I can't do it that quickly, goes into the brokerage account, or excuse me, goes into the fund money and the remaining 50 goes into the brokerage account. Again, simple as that, we can add debts, liabilities, we can get super fancy, got some really complicated ones, but the whole point of this is just showing you that with just a few clicks, we can now all of a sudden bring all of our money, have it automatically flow to the goals that we want to. And by the way, each one of these accounts is gonna create a real routing number and account number if you're making a new account. If you've got one that you wanna sync it to, no problem. Obviously that's already got a routing and account number, but hope this is helpful. Wanted to give you a quick update. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Hope you're doing great. Talk to you later.